This PowerPoint is designed to help answer any questions that may pop up that you may have about the Lose the Quarantine 15 challenge. So the goals for this challenge are to encourage healthful and mindful behaviors to keep us on track to see what we are consuming, how we're moving, how we're treating our bodies. It's also to reestablish healthy behaviors and habits that we may have forgotten about or lost during the quarantine. And a bonus goal is to lose any excess weight that we may have gained during quarantine and lockdown. So this is the weekly tracker that you will use to monitor your health behaviors. This tracker itself, you do not have to submit every week. What you will do is give yourself a point for every health behavior that you complete throughout the week. You will add up those points and you will submit those points via a Google Doc that will be emailed to you at the end of the week every week. Now, if you happen to lose any weight during this challenge, at the bottom, you can see that you can record the number of pounds lost. You will tally that up at the end of the week on Sunday. So if you lose five pounds, for example, during the week, you will give yourself an additional five points as one pound is worth an additional one point. So the first health behavior we have is drinking 60 plus ounces of water. I know that seems like a lot of hydration, but hydration is key to health and weight loss. So it's recommended that the average healthy adult gets 60 to 80 ounces of water per day. So to make this seem a lot less daunting, start off your morning before your coffee with four to six ounces. And throughout the day, maybe switch out that Diet Coke you have with lunch, switch it out with a bottle of water. Or you can even get yourself one of those big fancy bottles of water that have time stamps on them. So you can just keep track throughout the day, make sure you're getting enough water to help keep your body healthy. Our next goal is to exercise for 30 minutes a day. So moderate daily exercise helps improve your mental health, reduces your risk of chronic diseases such as cardiovascular disease, and it helps promote weight loss. So some examples of moderate exercise include brisk walking, riding a bike, dancing, hiking, water aerobics. I know that this time of year, it can be tricky to get outside and complete some of these. So maybe you have a stationary bike at home or you have small kids that you can play with anywhere that you can fit that 30 minutes of exercise throughout the day would be beneficial. Next health behavior we have is getting seven to nine hours of sleep. The National Sleep Foundation recommends seven to nine hours of sleep per night for healthy adults. Now some benefits to getting enough sleep include a healthy immune system as sleep helps your immune system function properly. It helps to reduce stress and improve mood. And it also reduces your risk for some serious um, health issues such as cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Now, when we don't get enough sleep, our body produces a hormone called ghrelin, which is an appetite boosting hormone. So the less sleep we get, the hungrier we are, the more we eat, and the more likely we are to gain weight. Our next health behavior is reducing our alcohol consumption. Alcohol is full of sugar and empty calories. And what I mean by empty calories is that the calories within alcohol provide zero nutritional benefit to our bodies. Alcohol also causes dehydration, which we know hydration is the key to health and weight loss. Alcohol consumption causes your body to focus on breaking down sugar in the alcohol that you're consuming instead of fat that you may have consumed with the meal. So when this happens, it is inhibiting weight loss. It slows it down or blocks it entirely. Next, we have eating three to five servings of vegetables per day. Vegetables are a really good source of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Vegetables also help reduce our risk of cardiovascular disease, stroke, and some types of cancer. And lastly, vegetables are low in fat and calories, but are very filling and tasty. Now, I know that three to five servings of vegetables per day sounds like a lot, but you can break that up throughout the day to make it seem less daunting. So in the morning, if you're fixing an omelet, throw some broccoli in there, throw some onions to get those benefits. At lunch, say you go out and you order yourself a sandwich. If you can, get a side of steamed vegetables for your side instead of fries. And at the end of the night when you're having dinner, on your plate, make half of your plate focus solely on vegetables. This way you can still get all the servings that you need without having to do it all at once and being miserable doing it. If you happen to lose weight throughout this challenge, awesome, good for you. Now, if you lose any weight, one pound is worth an additional point during this challenge. So for example, if you lose five pounds throughout the week, and you're gonna count this every single Sunday, 
what you will do is give yourself an additional five points on your weekly tracker for losing that five pounds because each pound loss earns you an additional point. Now, if you don't lose any weight, that is A-OK. -okay. If you don't want to lose weight, that's totally fine. The point of this challenge is to help us focus and reset and get back into healthful behaviors and reestablish good habits. And bonus, earn points towards prizes. During the Lose the Quarantine 15 challenge, we are going to have four prize drawings throughout the two month challenge. And these drawings will occur approximately every two weeks. Now to qualify to be in the drawing, all you have to do is make sure that you're submitting your weekly points. Every Friday, you will receive an email with a link to a Google Doc, and that's where you will submit your points for that week. So just make sure you're keeping up with that, keeping track, and you have the potential to win a prize four times throughout this challenge, in addition to the grand prize. So the individual with the most points at the end of this challenge will win a grand prize. Now, if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to email us at healthyu at eku.com.